Hi guys, my name is Donat. Hi, my name is Stan. And today we are happy to present you a multi login update version 2.1 Deep Blue. Now, for those of you that have been living under the rock, we have already released 1.49, 2.0, and today 2.1. So, for those of you that are not aware that we already have this awesome D Blue version out, I highly suggest that you first download the latest version and watch our two very important videos on local storage and uh, and the and the deep deep blue interface itself these links will be available down the video below but today let's specifically talk about 2.1 updates the updates and things that we've done in 2.0 and 1 for 1 still remain in this 2.1 version however it's vital that you learn about these features in the other videos but today let's talk about 2.1 a very awesome update, uh, a lot of new awesome and exciting features, a lot of a lot of crucial bugs fixed and few of very nice usability things as well. So up to you Donat. Thanks. Uh, I also want to add guys here that uh, you can find uh, links to our previous videos about 149 and 2.0 uh, below this video. Uh, click them and uh, make sure to watch those videos. And now let's uh, start uh, with overviewing uh, updates in this new version. The most significant and the ma main update of uh, 2.1 is related to Google services. As uh, some of you may already know, uh, our Mimic browser was not uh, working um, uh, correctly with uh, many uh, Google services. There were uh, different errors, most, uh, uh, the most known of them uh, being cookie mismatch and OSNAP error. The good news is that we have fixed uh, these errors as well as uh, numerous other bugs related to uh, Google services and Mimic. And also we have implemented some uh, uh, new features that improve working with Google both in Mimic browser and uh, in Stealthfox. Uh, one of those uh, features is, um, um, is uh, local storage and another is uh, IndexedDB which uh, are united under a single option in our new interface. Uh, you may, if uh, you work with Google, make sure to enable this option that you see on your screen, as uh, according to our information, Google, uh, many of Google services utilize uh, both local storage and IndexedDB for browser fingerprinting. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, the next uh, major Things that got updated is uh, a lot of different UI and UX improvements, uh, which Stan will tell you, uh, tell you about. So one of the uh, most crucial and important uh, user experience updates we've implemented is that we completely redesigned the language, uh, the language section. Whenever you go to navigator uh, section of the of creating a browser profile and click edit on languages, now you you will not have one specific list of uh, languages that you need to drag and drop and wait till the scroll goes up for like one minute. Now it's done very simply. So for example, you see the uh, interface right here. For example, if I would like to add a Russian language. I just type Russian in the search languages bar, I find the Russian language that I want, and then I drag and drop. Oh, that wasn't so difficult. <laughs> so, and this will, we really hope that this will help you in your work and productivity wise as well. And after done, after that, you can, uh, in the selected languages uh, field, you can drag and drop to select the, the, um, the importance of that language. So if you want Russian up, then you put it up and if you want it down, you put it down and then save. You are also able to manually edit these uh, language preferences by just editing. So for example, if you, you would like to change, we would put English here and it will automatically adjust. Cool. Uh, the second one is that we've added the, uh, uh, the sorting of browser profiles by by date. So in here you can, you first of all you see the uh, the date when the browser profile was created, and you're you're also able to sort them by this uh, column right here. Also now multi-login uh, 
An additional UI update that we've implemented is the saving state. Now, when you save the state, uh, when you, for example, search for Chromium profiles like, like this, so these are only Chromium profiles, uh, and you would like to leave this view. When you go to, for example, my account, help and support and return back, the state will remain like this. This is also a small usability update that we've implemented and we hope this will improve your productivity. Um, the second one is that we fixed mimic uh, not responding issues. Uh, in our previous versions we've noticed that when mimic browser lo is launched there are certain certain lags can appear from there to there and it could potentially uh, not allow you to work maybe faster and so on but uh, right now uh, if we would launch Mimic and of course this only happens for uh, settings when you've enabled WebRTC uh, IP checker the thing is when you when you've enabled that uh, the browser would not load uh, very fast but right now it, it loads very fast so we we'll go right here, loads fine, no major performance issues. So it switches between tabs fast enough, so all good and fast, and we close it like this. Uh, so that's pretty much about UI. I do want to point out one thing about usability itself, is that in 2.1 and in 2.0, operating systems are not yet ready and a lot of you guys ask why when you choose Windows here you still get a different uh, user agent so for example let me choose Mac OS and as you can see still you get a Windows user agent and the reason behind it is that operating systems are not yet ready so this will be ready in 2.2 but right now it's not yet ready so for now just use it as it was before and i would like to point out that uh, this does not affect uh, your privacy does not affect uh, mm -hmm. this anti-browser fingerprinting capabilities uh, this filter is only made for those who would like later uh, select and work uh, under like certain specific uh, operation systems so for example if you know that uh, uh, maybe some website doesn't like uh, cost, uh, doesn't like uh, users visitors who uh, use uh, Linux. You may uh, specifically set your browser profiles to use uh, Mac OS or Windows, and so on. So this uh, filter is made uh, primarily to uh, for those who want to narrow down uh, browser fingerprints to specific operating system, and this is not a browser fin uh, fin fingerprint itself like it's uh, mm -hmm. not a part of your browser fingerprint so the fact that right now this um, operation system is uh, does not correspond to user agent and platform value it doesn't uh, affect anything yeah so it should not affect your masking capabilities at all it's just a filter that will soon work Okay, and there's, uh, that's pretty much it about UI. And there is one also very important update related to uh, time zones and uh, database and MaxMind database. And I think Donut sh should explain. Uh, yes, uh, so the thing was uh, that after switching to DST time, aka summer time, uh, we have started experiencing, our users start experiencing problems with uh, time zone being uh, uh, off to one hour from uh, their actual one and uh, this um, problem appeared in uh, many cities across the world uh, so we started researching uh, what was the problem and it was uh, basically a complex a complex problem both in our algorithms and uh, with that uh, our database uh, we use MaxMind for uh, IP uh, address to geolocation uh, it was uh, basically um, uh, an old version of this MaxMind. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and updated our MaxMind da database and also improved our algorithm. So now uh, all problems with time zone must be solved. If you still uh, notice any problems, please report back. But we have tested this extensively mm -hmm. for weeks. So we believe that uh, now all problems uh, must be actually fixed. Uh, so which uh, will certainly improve uh, your working with different websites that uh, uh, track time zone and, and compare it uh, against their, their 
IP2Geo databases. Another thing I'd like to mention in this update is that uh, starting from version uh, 2.0, we now have uh, an ability to migrate your old Chromium and Firefox profiles uh, to our custom Stellfox and uh, Mimic browsers. Uh, this can be done uh, both manually, one by one, uh, through this uh, migrate to Mimic or migrate to Stellfox uh, menu item, or it can be done in bulk, and let's uh, see how it works. Here we have uh, three Chromium profiles, so let's migrate them to uh, to Mimic. One click and uh, all profiles have been uh, migrated. Uh, this uh, will soon be a very handy feature as uh, for April we have plans uh, to uh, migrate uh, all users from our old uh, free, uh, free browsers like uh, from this uh, unmodified browsers to our own custom browsers. This is because uh, there, are there are too many problems uh, with these uh, unmodified browsers, uh, which uh, are related to their architecture and which are we cannot solve due to uh, the architecture of those browsers. So we decided to just replace them with our custom coded browsers. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's actually a very good idea if you do plan to upgrade to our premium plan. So it's a very nice feature that you can use your old Chromium profiles, quickly transform to Mimic ones and thus uh, kind of creating a better protection for your accounts. So this is highly advised. Not to be selling, <laughs> just saying it's how it is. <laughs> yeah, and a little spoiler that uh, soon enough we'll add uh, our custom code as Telfox browser to the free plan. So don't yeah. be discouraged by these uh, changes because uh, it will multi-login will become better for both our paid and our free users. Yes. Okay, and I think that's one of the major things that we wanted to cover regarding this update. However, if you're interested, there are still, there are some other very important things that we've implemented in 2.1 and you can read more information about it in our release notes. Uh, the link will be also below this video and on screen right now. We welcome that you go to multiloginapp.com slash release notes and learn more about uh, what has been released in 2.1. So you can see that changes and fixes in Multilogin 2.1 Deep Blue, all things that we've changed uh, are available here as a list. Also guys, um, if you don't understand uh, like uh, the changes from release notes, I highly encourage you to subscribe to our Telegram channels. We have uh, Telegram channels both in Russian and English language. And uh, we would uh, we post usually there an explanation of the most important uh, updates, the most important features, and also our plans for future updates. So if you want to get some additional information, uh, please uh, click the links below this video, subscribe to our Telegram channels, and get the most recent information from there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Bye bye. Signature high five. <laughs>